everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today, we will be doing a real life application video. I had this idea for a video where I would walk you through kung paano mag-apply online. But I'm not just gonna give you tips on how to do it. Instead, the idea is we will be applying for a real job posting together. So I will be searching for a job posting on onlinejobs.ph and then I will show you how I create a cover letter and what I put inside that cover letter. So you will be able to see what exactly I do. Yung ipapakita ko sa inyo, yun talaga yung kung paano ako mag apply sa mga clients. Yun yung real life example of how I actually do it. Hindi siya yung parang keme-keme lang na tips na tulad nung ginawa ko last time. Pero syempre disclaimer muna, this is not the only way to apply for online jobs. You can do however you want to do it. May kanya-kanya naman kasi tayong way of doing things. But I'm just sharing what I do para dun sa mga iba na baka nahihirapan mag-apply sa mga online jobs. I'm hoping that this video could help you guys out. And also, syempre, not all job listings will look like the example that I will be showing here. So, there will be differences depende sa kung ano yung details na binigay ni client. Take that into consideration when doing it for your own applications. So, step one, obviously, we should search for an online job posting dito sa onlinejobs.ph So, I'll just be going to onlinejobs.ph like that. So this is the search page and I just typed in dito sa search bar video editor. Ito yung lumabas na mga job postings na available. Sobrang daming job postings for video editors. No, maraming naghanap ng video editors. I'm just using video editor as a skill that we will be applying for. That's what I do. So, yun yung apply natin for today. But, you can also apply these tips sa kung ano mang skill you're doing. Pero, syempre, may mga nuances, may mga differences. But, in general, I think this could also help you guys. I'm gonna be doing this one. And, when you click on that, it will take you here. Dito kasi, hindi mo makikita yung name no client. Pero dito may kita mo yung name niya is Jesus Ramirez. He posted it on January 4. So we have found a potential job post that we could apply for and the first step that we would be doing is to read the job posting. <laughs> I know, sobrang basic niya but yun talaga yung first step. Kasi yung iba nika apply Lalo na ito, sobrang haba no? Job post niya. Sobrang haba. And yung iba tinatamad na magbasa. Hindi binabasa yung buong to. We have to read this kasi we will be getting the details na nandito sa loob nito para gagamitin natin dun sa cover letter. Siguro I'm not gonna read it real time kasi this is pretty long but maybe ita time lapse na lang natin. Okay, so we have read the job posting that Jesus Ramirez posted on OLJ. Marami siyang details na in-include na pwede natin magamit sa ating cover letter. And marami din siyang mga nilagay na mga specifics of how he wants the cover letter to look like. We have his expectation kung ano yung gusto niyang makita. The purpose of reading the whole letter is to get details para makagawa tayo ng personalized letter. Kasi sinabi rin niya dito, if you notice right here, it's easy to identify a copied and pasted cover letter. So, yun nga iniwasan natin. We want to personalize and create a unique cover letter for each application that we will be doing. Based on reading this, magkakaroon na tayo ng vibe what kind of person he is. He's been doing his YouTube channel for 6 years already and he has a million subscribers. So, that would imply that the quality of his videos, uh, the expectations that he has is high already. Marami na siyang experience of what works on YouTube, what kind of videos he wants to see for his channel and syempre, sa loob ng 6 years may na-establish na siya na branding niya, na kung paano yung itsura ng videos niya. Based on this, you should also assess your skills if you are fit for the job. Meron siya dito mga requirements. Yan. Ito, yung mga requirements niya. 
video editing expert with knowledge of audio enhancements must have a computer that can handle 4K. 4K videos are a bit tough to handle para sa mga lower end specs na computer and that could be an issue kapag nagpapasa ka na ng outputs mo kasi baka mahirapan mag-render yung computer mo ng 4K video file. So, you should keep that in mind. Siyempre, lalo na pag video editing yung job mo, dapat you have a fast internet connection, lalo na kung ikaw yung magre-render ng videos. And then, i-send mo sa kanya over internet. Kailangan malakas yung wifi para hindi ka nahirapan mag-send ng videos. Ito, para sa akin lang, medyo bit micromanaging siya. Crafting an email every day. That could be a bit tedious to do. So, should also keep that in mind that you will be doing that. So, yun yung initial impression natin dito sa job posting na to. Para sa akin, okay naman siya. Yun nga lang yung isa kong concern. Yung daily emails na kailangan send para sa mga tasks and accomplishments of the day. So, let's move on to the second step which is to do some quick research about the client. His name is Jesus Ramirez and Sabi niya, he has a YouTube channel for 6 years now. Let's just go to YouTube. You can just do a bit of research about the client. So, Ramirez, Photoshop training tutorials. So, yan. Nakita na agad natin siya sa YouTube. Then, check out lang natin for a bit yung kanyang mga videos. Para may idea lang din tayo kung what, what kind of videos he has already on his channel. So, this is what I like to do. I like to go to the oldest video. Wala lang. Para lang mangita ko yung kung paano siya nag-umpisa. Seven years ago na. So, I wonder if you will also be doing the thumbnails. Parang walang nabanggit about thumbnails. So, maybe we can also ask that in the cover letter. So, ito yung sinasabi niyang mga screen capture. So, ayan. Meron siyang intro logo. So, yun. Ano naman na yun? Sige. So, yun yung client. Si Jesus Ramirez. May mga insertions. So, yan Yung gagawin mo. Kala mo zoom in. Ganyan. Mga motion effects. Kasi, if you will research the client, may kita mo rin yung expectation mo kung ano yung kind of videos na gagawin mo. Like, what kind of tasks you will be doing. What kind of skills you need para ma-serve mo yung ganto klaseng output ng video. Tignan natin yung about. We'll try to use this line later dun sa ating cover letter. Just to show me how you did that. So, dito sa description nyo, may kita mo rin na he's a straight to the point kind of guy. Ayaw niya ng mga maraming mapalapalabong mga, mga mabubulaklak ng mga kemerot. Ay, grabe to work with some of the biggest brands in the world including Adobe, Microsoft, Motorola, Comunas and many other. If you're interested to apply for this client, you should check it out on onlinejobs.ph. Yun yung kanyang YouTube channel. So, we got some more details about the client. Okay, so yun, we did a little bit lang of research about the client. We checked out his YouTube channel and watched one of his videos para makita lang natin kung anong klase ng YouTube videos yung kinagawa ni client and if we have the skills to do those kind of videos. And I think they're pretty straightforward and pretty easy to do. So yeah, let's move on to the third step of the process which is to create a cover letter for this client. So gagamitin natin yung mga info na nakuha natin mula dun sa job posting and dito sa YouTube channel. So pagkasama-samahin natin sila para makagawa tayo ng cover letter. So let's get on with creating the cover letter. Hindi agad ako nag- click dito ng apply for this job. What I do is I pull out notepad and dito ako nagsusulat. So I'll just create a time lapse of this and then we can just review what I did later. So, now that we are done writing this cover letter, let's move on to step 4 of the process which is to review the letter that we just wrote. Each part of this cover letter has a purpose kung bakit ganun yung ginawa ko sa kanya and kung bakit inuna ko tong paragraph na to, bakit hinuli ko ilagay itong about sa akin. Basta, discuss natin yung bawat part. So, first part, yun yung kaganda sa online jobs PH kasi nakikita mo yung 
pangalan ng client, kung ano yung pangalan niya. So, pwede mo agad gamitin yun para ma-customize yung cover letter mo. We just have a bit of a greeting right here. I hope you're having a great 2020 so far. I read your job posting thoroughly and I believe I am a good fit to work with you as a full-time video editor for your YouTube channel. So, this part, what I usually do is I match what the client wrote as the title, job title. Kung ano yung sinabi niya dito, imamatch ko yun dito sa ilalagay kong cover letter. Kasi minsan may confusion sa mga terms, kung graphic designer ba o graphic artist ba. Basta yung mga ganun. So, maganda, use the language that the client uses. Kung baga yung how he writes stuff, mas maganda rin na you match it para mas madali, wala na masyadong confusion kung ano ba yung mas mga so, I checked out your channel, PTC, and I really like your style. So, nilagay ko dito yung channel name niya, PTC, para makita niya na ni-research ko talaga yung channel niya. And I really like your style of presenting information, which is no BS and straight to the point. I also like your simple map graph. Just show me how you did that. I included this part right here kasi it's also a good idea to give a sort of a compliment. Find something na you really liked about the client and mention that in your cover letter. I also inserted the mantra here like I mentioned earlier na magagamit natin yung mantra na yun. Ito, dito sa part na to sa second paragraph about what I can do na. So, inuna ko ilagay yung about sa client. Yung kung ano yung hinahanap niya na kung ano yung channel niya na I, I researched about it. Ganyan. All about him first. And then, tsaka mo lang ipapasok yung about sa'yo. Uh, it's a bit of a psychology play din, I guess. Kasi people, they're interested about themselves. If they see that you researched about them, mauhook mo agad yung attention nila and your application letter would stand out from the rest of the other application. Sa second paragraph, I said that I've been working as a freelancer for three years now but I started video editing way back 2012. So, nabi niya din dito sa, ato, I want to hear what you bring to the table for this specific job and why you believe you're the right fit. So, nag-isip ako ng statement that would encapsulate that of, or how I can answer this part right here and this is what I came up with so based on the videos I've seen on your channel I can definitely use the techniques and skills I have used in editing for a past client who does game dev tutorials your format are similar in which you both use live face footage plus screen recording dito may kita ni client na I have the skills na kailangan para dun sa type of editing na kailangan niya which is yun nga screen recording plus talking head and then I would also just like to point out what I usually use is talking heads instead of this live face footage plus screen recording what I usually use as a terminology is talking heads plus screen caps but because yun ito yung ginamit niya na terms yun yung language ni client. So, yun din yung ginamit ko. In-edit out ko siya. para wala ng confusion. Let me know if that works out for you. It means that you are willing to work out a deal with the client. Hindi siya masyadong ma-off. Kung hindi niya kaya yung ganong budget, you can still work it out together if you will reach a certain rate na parehong agreeable sa inyong dalawa. Just have to be honest if what what your current rate is. Sabi niya dito, one to two paragraphs lang. So, ito yung bulk no letter, one to two paragraphs. These are just the add-ons. Ito kasi yung mga essentials na kailangan din ilagay. Link to your portfolio. So, what I usually do is I just put the YouTube link here of my video portfolio. So, I just do that. Video editing computer specs. Ililist down mo lang dyan yung mga specs ng computer na gamit mo for editing. Usually, that's RAM, processor, video card, storage, and then internet speed. You can go to speedtest.net and then test your internet speed. And then, this is a, a bit of an extra thing that I do. I usually add questions for the clients. Kasi kapag nag-add ka ng questions dito, it, you're like continuing the conversation. The client will be more prompted to answer these questions because it also shows that you are interested to know more information about him. Kung ano talaga yung concerns mo or may, most, may mga gusto ko malaman, just add it in there. Yeah, so I said, will you also be expecting me to create thumbnails for the video because nakita ko yung 
mga videos niya dito, edited yung thumbnails. Well, that, that would be expected dahil Photoshop challenge. And then, are you open to doing a different format of daily reporting instead of emails? I have a few ideas in mind. Um, here, he takes suggestions for new ideas. So, let's try that in this application already. And then, apply for this job. You paste all of this. Yun. And then, send email. Yeah, so guys, that's what I usually do for cover letters and I hope that you are able to get some tips and tricks dito sa ginawa nating walkthrough. I apologize if it's a bit long but I wanted to include as much information as I can. So if you have any questions regarding this, just comment it down below. I'll try my best to answer you guys. If you're a video editor yourself, you can try applying for this online job. Yeah, malay nyo kayo yung mahire. Yun lang. That's it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching and see you on the next video. Goodbye!